tennis ball splash. This setup is pretty much similar to my flower impact in that I have the Pluto trigger triggering two flash units and that's the power of the flash which the camera is capturing. It is not triggering the camera again. The setup itself, I've got the laser beam on the left going all the way across to the trigger on the right. It's set at a slight angle, it's not going straight across. The tennis ball will be dropped from the same height marked by my old tri uh, lab stand from there where the impact point is. I have pre-focused the camera which is just here on the right. It is at f11 two second exposure at ISO 400. Both external flashes are at power 132 and as you can see they've got the crisp tube snoots on which keep the light focused there so none of the backdrop will be in shot. You might see I've got some uh, Yongo triggers on the bottom of the flashes. They will not be used in capturing the image. All they are used for is for me adjusting the power so I don't keep having to go to each trigger on its own. I found that extremely useful. Different channels, different power. So that's A, that's B. In this instance though, I'm keeping them at both power 164. Other things in the room, I have of course, if you've noticed, I'm in the bathroom. This can get pretty splash, splashy and wet. I've got a towel around the outside. I have a torch on the floor. Just pointing to the side so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, for the water itself, here's a tip. Use warm water. It makes it a lot more comfortable to work, you work with. It's going to get splashing around. You're going to get a bit damp. For dropping the tennis ball, I needed two things. A substantial reflective surface to drop it onto and a black background. I have stuck a piece of black material against the wall. And first off, a piece of wood, which I just gently place over the bath like that. Little lever on the end here to get it level. On top of this, I have a polished black tile. I'll place this on it. And there I have my surface. Nice and secure. First off, I get a bit of water on my impact surface. Helps with the splash. I've soaked the tennis ball as well. I've no idea if it helps or not, but I prefer it like that. It's also in warm water. So it's all set up. That's all there is to it. But when I'm taking the pictures, I'll trigger the camera first. There, let go, capture the image. Now the lights are off. The only ambient light now is from the uh, torch on the floor here. Laser beam. It's all set up. Trigger camera. And of course, just adjust your timing as required.